Hello, I'm Dan Rice of Rice Martial Arts Academy, and uh, we are coming to you virtually. We have some of our students here today. We're going to do a little demonstration for you. I'll be calling out the students. They're going to be demonstrating different forms, some of their uh, one steps, as well as uh, kicks and things that we do at the studio. So, with that, chariot, Nick and A. Okay, here we side off. All right, first we'll start out with Miss Jasmine. She'll be demonstrating one of her forms. Forms are a traditional part of uh, all martial arts, and so at each belt level, there's a new form or kata that you need to know. Juvi, and B again. Very good. Nice job, Miss Jasmine Hebert. And she'll step off. And we'll have uh, Sophie come on out. She's a high green belt. And she'll be demonstrating her form for you. Chumbi. And begin. So at each belt level, they have their own patterns. And there's a total of 12 patterns up to the black belt level. Ah! Very good. Nice job, Sophie. Okay, Bryce, you're up next. Bryce is part of our Tiny Tigers. And he'll be doing Walking Dragon for us. We do start our students off at three years old. And... We have a whole bunch of our tiny tigers. Bryce does a great job for us. Ah! Very good, nice job Bryce, and step off please. We have uh, Mr. Harper Chick up next. He'll be demonstrating his form for us today. When you're ready, begin. Our belt levels start at white belt and they progress from yellow, green, blue, red, brown, and black. And if you see the different color belts as they're doing their techniques, you'll see that their skill level is getting sharper and more powerful. Harper's been training with us uh, over three years, I believe, and he's preparing for his black belt. And return. Very good. All right. Next one up is Savannah. Savannah's a blue belt. She'll be demonstrating Chung Gun for us today. And she's fairly new to our school. They moved up here from Monroe, Wisconsin, which is awesome. Great job, hard worker. And she's nearly ready for her next belt level as well. Very good, Savannah. Nice job. Thank you. And Miss Evelyn O'Brien, please. She'll be doing Chung Move form for us. You notice there's two different color uniforms that they're wearing. The ones wearing their red uniforms are also our assistant instructors. So when they uh, demonstrated all of their techniques and their ability to not only learn themselves, but the desire to teach others, they get to join our instructor corps. And so they wear red uniforms, and when they're in our black belt programs, then they wear blue. Ah! 
Excellent, nice job. Okay, for our next presentation, they're gonna demonstrate some of their kicks for us. We're gonna start out with snap kicks. We're gonna have Savannah come up and do one of the kicks. So we do a lot of different snap kicks. And let's do a nice key up with that kick, please, Anne. Very good, and back to your spot. Sophie, come on up. She's gonna be demonstrating a jump reverse snap kick. Jump reverse snap kick, and go. And hit that pad, hit it real hard, give me a good key up. Alrighty, very good, I'm back. And uh, Miss Jasmine's up. Miss Jasmine's gonna be doing a jumping back leg snap kick. And go. One more time, and go. Excellent, and back. Miss Evelyn's gonna come up. She's gonna be doing a tornado snap kick. Tornado snap kick. And one more time. Excellent, back. And Mr. Harper, let's have you do a jumping front leg snap kick. Jumping front leg. There we go, and one more time. Very good, and back to your spot. All right, the next kick that we're gonna be demonstrating is a side kick. So we're gonna have Savannah come up. She's gonna demonstrate a front leg side kick for us. One more time, please. Excellent. And back to her spot. Sophia. Sophia's going to come up. She's going to be doing a back leg side kick for us. Back leg. One more time, please. Very good. And back to your spot. Miss Jasmine's going to be doing a turning side kick. Turning side kick for us. Here we go. One more time. And if she's excellent. And back. Let's go to a jump turning side kick, please. Jump turning side kick. Here we go. One more time. We have about 100 different variations of these kicks, and Mr. Harper's going to be up. He's going to be doing jumping front leg side kick. Jumping front leg side kick. And go. One more time. And go. Excellent. Back. All righty. Uh, Mr. Fisher, take a step back, please. Savannah, you're up. Come over here. We're going to do flying side kick. Each one of you are going to hit the pad with a flying side kick. And a good key up, and go. Excellent. The back of the line. Harper, go. Excellent. Go. Good. And Miss Jasmine, go. And Miss Sophia, please. Excellent. Very good. Nice job, guys. And the next kick we're going to be doing is a roundhouse kick. Okay. We're going to start out with Miss Savannah. She'll be up here. We're going to do a back leg roundhouse kick. Hit it again. Very good, back of the line. Sophia, let's have you do the same thing, but jump and kick it. Go. Nice, and again. Very good, and back to your spot. And Mr. Harper, come on up here. Let's have you do jumping back leg. Jumping back leg. Go. Nice job. And again. Excellent, great power, and back to your spot. Miss Jasmine, please. You're up. Tornado roundhouse. Tornado roundhouse. And go. Again, one more time. Excellent. And Miss Evelyn, same kick, please. One more time. And excellent, excellent. All righty, the next kick that we're going to be demonstrating is the crescent kick. And we'll switch out to the x-ray paper. As they work their way through their belt levels, they'll be doing a lot of different variations of these kicks and they're to different proficiencies. All right, we're gonna come out. Savannah's gonna be up first. She's gonna be demonstrating a back leg crescent kick for us. And one more time, please. Excellent, and back. And Miss Sophia, let's do the same kick. Here we go. Good, great flexibility. Go ahead, one more time. Excellent, back. And then Mr. Harper with the spin crescent. And one more time, please. Excellent, back. All right, Miss Jasmine, tornado crescent kick. Very good, one more time. Kick the paper right out of his hands. And go. Very good, and back. And then we're gonna have Miss Evelyn. She's gonna do a back leg outside crescent and then go to her Tornado Crescent. And one more time, same kick. Here we go. Excellent, and back.
Okay. Good job, guys. Good job.
see what this book means to me, me, me. But I'm just gonna read, 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 read. Read all day, read all day. I never miss a book. I'm reading on my nook. I practice fluency. I'm just gonna read, 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 read Read all day, read all day I just gotta see, 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 see What this book means to me, me, me I'm just gonna read, 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 read Read all day, read all day Read all day, read all day Ah, ah, I read all day Read all day, ah, ah, I read all day Read all day, ah, ah, I read all day Read all day you've been getting down and out about your switches and your phones, you could have been getting down to this sick book. My teacher brought us these new books. She's like, oh my gosh, you just gotta read it. So the students over there with some time to spare, won't you come on over? Maybe we can read, read, read. Yeah. Cause the student's gonna learn, 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 learn. The teacher's gonna teach, 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 teach. But I'm just gonna read, 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 read Read all day, read all day I just gotta see, 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 see What this book means to me, me, me But I'm just gonna read, 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 read Read all day, read all day Cause the student's gonna learn, 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 learn The teacher's gonna teach, 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 teach But I'm just gonna read, 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 read Read all day, read all day On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, the fighting of World War I ended in 1918. Due to the conclusion of the war to end all wars, November 11th became the universally recognized day of celebration. The day originally declared Amnesty Day, eight years after the end of World War I, and honored only the veterans of that war. Then, in 1954, after World War II and the Korean War, it was renamed Veterans Day to honor all veterans who served America in war and defended democracy. So today we honor all veterans who unselfishly placed their lives on the line for our freedoms. And as we honor our veterans and remember their great deeds, I would like to also recognize those who are currently fighting for our freedom. Veterans Day isn't just a day for veterans, it's a day for all Americans. It is a day to remember why they were fighting and a day for us to begin our journey of protecting our freedom and the freedom of many future generations. Everyone, please rise for a prayer by Father Barry. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. On this Veterans Day, we honor our veterans, worthy men and women who gave their best when they were called upon to serve and protect their country. We pray that you will bless them for their unselfish service in the continual struggle to preserve our freedoms, our safety, and our country's heritage for all of us. Bless them abundantly for the hardships they faced, 
for the sacrifices they made for their many different contributions to America's victory over tyranny and oppression. We respect them, we thank them, we honor them, and we are proud of them. We pray that you will watch over these special service members blessing them with peace, happiness, comfort, and your eternal love. For we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, On Veterans Day, we honor all who answered to a service call. Soldiers young and soldiers old fought for freedom, brave and bold. Some have lived while others died, and all of them deserve our pride. We're proud of all the soldiers who kept thinking of red, white, and blue. They fought for us and all our rights. They fought through many days and nights. And though we may not know each name, we, all, we thank all veterans just the same. To me, freedom means the right to be myself. I can make my own decisions and choose my future. The dictionary says freedom means to have the right to do and say what you like. Pope John Paul II said, every generation of Americans needs to know that freedom consists not in doing what we like, but having the right to do what we like. The reason we have the right to our freedom is because of the brave men and women that risk their lives to stand up and fight for our freedom. These soldiers went to war for our country and fought for America, for our freedom, and still fighting so we can live the way we want to live in the United States of America. Freedom means I can express myself in the way that I choose without losing my freedom of choice or action. I am free to vote and to have a fair trial. I also have freedom of religion through acts of prayer and worship, in public or private. Freedom also means my parents have the choice to give me religious education. An example of how I express my freedom in sports is when we pray before our basketball games. My team and coaches gather in a circle right before tip-off and we join hands. We do the sign of the cross and pray the short prayer. Come on, come on, please help us with our basketball. Amen. We didn't do the sign of a cross again. I'm glad we honor our veterans and say the Pledge of Allegiance at our school. I'm proud to be American and thankful to all the brave men and women who fought and are still fighting for freedom. More than 1.2 million Americans have died because of war and fighting for America's freedom. We stand for the flag today to honor those soldiers who paid the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom.
Mass and Army National Guard. Today we're going to talk about flag etiquette. There are two ways to display the flag. The first one is horizontal, with the stars on the upper left. The second way is vertical, with the stars in the upper left. Hi, my name is Sergeant First Class Michael Plant. I've been in the National Guard for almost 23 years now, and to me, the American flag is not just a piece of cloth. It's more than a symbol of freedom uh, for this country. And every time I say the National Anthem or the uh, Pledge of Allegiance, I get goosebumps in my body. It just means that much to me. I've been wearing this flag for so almost 23 years. My name is Staff Sergeant Kelly Fabris. I've been in the Army National Guard just going on eight years now. The flag means a lot to me because it is a symbol of my freedom. I served overseas and I got to see firsthand what little freedom other countries have. So wearing this flag over here and displaying that to everybody and showing and exercising my rights is very important to me. And that's why I wear this flag every day. Hi, I'm Sergeant Mitchell Meyer. I'm the admin training NCO at Health Battery First 120th. Uh, the flag means a lot to me. Uh, it represents all of our freedoms that we have that a lot of other people don't. I've been in the National Guard for four years now and I get to wear this flag every single day and it just means the world to me that I can represent everybody. I'm Staff Sergeant Mandy Wynotsky with the Wisconsin Army National Guard. I've been in the military for 13 years. The flag reminds me of the Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance reminds me about the freedoms I've given up for you. Have you ever noticed on TV or at military funerals that the Honor Guard pays meticulous attention to correctly folding the American flag 13 times? Each fold of the U.S. flag has an important meaning. We have verified its accuracy at the U.S. Air Force Academy website. The first fold of our flag is a symbol of life. The second fold is a symbol of our belief in eternal life. The third fold is made in honor and remembrance of the veterans who part in our ranks, who gave a portion of their lives for the defense of our country attain peace throughout the world. The fourth fold represents our weaker nature. For as American citizens trusting in God, it is to him we turn in times of peace, as well as in times of war, for his divine guidance. The fifth fold is a tribute to our country, or in the words of Stephen Decatur, our country, in dealing with other countries, may she always be right, but it is still our country, right or wrong. The sixth fold is for where our hearts lie. It is with our heart that we pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The seventh fold is a tribute to our armed forces, for it is through the armed forces that we protect our country and our flag against all her enemies, whether they are found within or without the boundaries of our republic. The eighth fold is a tribute to the one who entered into the valley of the shadow of death, that we might see the light of day, and to honor Mother, for whom it flies on Mother's Day. The ninth fold is a tribute to womanhood, for it has been through their faith, their love, loyalty, and devotion that the character of the men and women who have made this country great has been molded. The tenth fold 
is a tribute to the Father, for he too has given his sons and daughters for the defense of our country since they were first born. The eleventh fold in the eyes of a Hebrew citizen represents the lower portion of the seal of King David and King Solomon and glorifies in their eyes the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The twelfth fold in the eyes of a Christian citizen represents an emblem of eternity and glorifies in their eyes God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. When the flag is completely folded, the stars are uppermost, reminding us of our nation's motto, in God we trust. After the flag is completely folded and tucked in, it takes on the appearance of a cocked hat ever reminding us of the soldiers who served under General George Washington and the sailors and Marines who served under Captain John Paul Jones, those who were followed by their comrades and shipmates in the armed forces of the United States, reserving for us the rights, privileges, and freedoms we enjoy today. I would like to thank everyone for watching our Veterans Day program. If everyone could please pause for a moment of silence.